I'm Nathan Tudor. I'm here with Wolves reporter Tim Spears from a pretty cold and windy Compton. We've just heard from Nuno ahead of the big game against Newcastle United on Sunday. Timothy, uh, Nuno was in pretty good spirits and looking forward to the yeah, game. Uh, Timothy, <laughs> don't start with that. <laughs> Are you alright? Your, your voice isn't sounding great. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a, a, little bit, a little bit gravelly. I don't oh, know yeah. what happened. <laughs> right. Don't, don't, good, don't drink on a school night. Good to see you made it in today. Anyway. Yeah, you're very welcome. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Okay. Easy for me to say. <laughs> Indeed. What was the uh, question? I don't know. Uh, Newcastle United. So, you know, big game. Looking forward to it. <laughs> and who knows in pretty good spirits after the big game. Professional as ever. After the win against Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, no, obviously they've been massively buoyed by that. Uh, Connor Cody said before the Chelsea game it was an unhappy training ground. Mm. Obviously that's now been flipped on its head. Um, and it's good that they've got a game so soon. I think Going dark. The, Going dark. Uh, the last thing you want after this one is, um, is an international break, mm. uh, but only a yeah, quick turnaround. Um, to visit a team that can be beaten, certainly, and they'll go in yeah, full of confidence, which is great. We're looking forward to it. We are. So, obviously, the main selection dilemma is, is Ruben Neves, who you would have thought could come back into the side, but, but is, that, is, that, is that a clear clear case of him um, coming straight back in or not? I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's a given, as, as it would have been last season, mm. when obviously he was, he was the most important man in the team. Um, I'm not sure he has been this season, mm. but I would expect him to come back in. Yeah. Who it's for um, is is a is a tricky one, really. Mm. Is it going to be for Matinho? Is it going to be for Sace? Is it going to be for Give White? Yeah. Um, if I were the manager, which you sometimes ask me to be, yep. then I would um, I would take Matinho out for a game. I think. Mm -hmm. um, I thought he looked a bit tired towards the end of the uh, Chelsea game. Yeah. Expended a lot of energy. Uh, I don't think you can drop Sace for me personally. No. Um, I think he's, I think he's done very well. He's acquitted himself superbly mm -hmm. in the last two games. Um, put it to Nuno in the press conference. Uh, he didn't really want to talk about it, but <laughs> I uh, suggested to him, you know, fair play. This guy's um, a regular last season. Yeah, ha hasn't kicked a ball in the Premier League for uh, a few months. Mm -hmm. Comes in from the cold at Cardiff, a really mm -hmm. tough game. I thought he did well, and then he did really well against Chelsea back in his mid midfield position. I'd be very impressed with him, uh, and I, I don't think you can. I don't think you can drop him. No, uh, and, and can you can you drop more games white though? I mean, he's I mean, he's the talk of the town at the moment. I say talk of the town, talk of the city, talk talk, talk of the UK because I mean everybody knows about him now. Uh, Mark's man, can can he can he turn it around and play on Sunday? Nuno is the kind of manager who would drop Gibbs White, I think. Yes. Um, but personally, I don't, again, I don't think he can. I thought he was he was exceptional against Chelsea and and deserves to keep his place. Um, it's interesting though. You know, three four three week after week. He, mm. tw he tweets it on Wednesday. What mm. does he do now? Um, we are very dark, aren't we? Sorry. Um, mm. It worked so well against Chelsea. Is it a horses for courses thing, or is is, is this going to be a regular feature going forward? I thought the formation worked very well. Yeah. Um, it's it's a little bit more defensive when they when they're winning the ball back in midfield and weren't get there weren't as many players up front. Mm. I think it's well suited to working away from home. I, I'd I'd stick with it. Nevis for Matinho would be my choice and you've got the whole Roman Sace and John Joe Shelby issue as well yeah. um, or say issue I mean Nuno's quick to kind of like say that that's finished now it wasn't it wasn't it didn't happen during my time and history's history but there will be something there won't there you'd have thought there will be there's no getting away from it um, Shelby yeah, in and around the Newcastle team I think he was on the bench uh, for the 3-0 defeat against West Ham mm -hmm. so maybe a contender to come into the team yeah Sace we'll, we'll see if he starts uh, it's definitely an issue if they're going in for a 50-50 tackle mm. Of course, it's an issue. Of course, it is. There'll be a bit of chat. Yeah. Um, a lot of Newcastle players from then are still there. A mm -hmm. few Wolves lads are as well. Mm -hmm. Costa, Cavalero, spring to mind. Cody as well. Yeah. Benitez still involved. So yeah. a few of the a few of the, the cast of characters from that particular unsavoury saga mm -hmm. um, are still at the club. Mm -hmm. Definitely an issue. Nuno quick to play it down. Uh, I think he said he, he hasn't spoke to Sace to, uh, about it. Um, expects it, him to have forgotten about it. He will have spoken to um, Sace about it. Of course he will, and of course it's an issue. Um, <clears throat> it's just not one that he'll want to stoke mm -hmm. in a pre-match press conference. So you know, fair enough, really, on, yeah. on that respect. But um, it'll certainly add a bit of uh, needle to the game. But Nuno, you know, but, um, but purely because you know, it wasn't like it was a, a done and dusted issue, and they apologised and moved on. Sure, sure, sure. It, you know, this, this role it, it's carried on, carried on. Well, it? it did because Newcastle was so adamant that yeah. he was innocent yeah. and hadn't said it, even yeah. after he'd been found guilty by the FA. Mm -hmm. Benitez, Lascelles mm -hmm. really came out and defended did, him. Yeah. Of course, you of course you expect them to defend their player, mm -hmm. but after being found guilty, they they really yeah. went for it. Yeah, um, and sort of sort of really kind of felt like they were accusing Wolves of, of making stuff up, really. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was unsavoury, it was mm. unsavoury, and that'll definitely be a factor in the game. But Nuno, glowing, glowing a praise for Rafa Benitez, though, knows him very well and, and massive respect. I mean, sometimes you think he maybe goes through the motions with certain managers, definitely didn't with when he was asked about Benitez. Yeah, he pays his respects to every manager, even Neil Warnock, um, before every game. But yeah, no, of course he means it um, with 
with this one. Benitez, uh, top class manager, he's the reason that Newcastle aren't in the, you know, aren't, weren't relegated last mm. season and aren't mm -hmm. in the bottom three yet this season. Sure. So. But uh, like I said, they've got um, they've got a very beatable team. Yeah, spanked three 0 by West Ham at home last time out. So um, at the weekend, and then I don't know what they did midweek. So we've been a bit busy this week. <laughs> what did they do midweek? Do you know what the last result was? Uh, I think they drew one one at Everton. That's right, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. there you go. There I, think, you go. I think that's it, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Oh, this is. This is great research from the. No, it's a do one one at Everton. Okay, they, decent. They, they scored. They scored first. Everton equalised. Good knowledge from yeah. you. So, um, but yeah, last time game three 0 West Ham. We know, we know what that crowd's like. It can turn. Absolutely. So, um, the sixty four thousand dollar question is: How how do Wolves go there and win and be a side not in the top six or play well against a side not in the top six? Yeah. Um, I think having Gibbs White as an extra man in the field will help. Um, that's definitely been an issue. They've been over-swamped against the, uh, the smaller teams, mm. so to be. But um, I think away from home, the formation will suit them well. Um, it's all about getting the ball to the wing-backs and the forwards as quickly as possible. High tempo, front foot from the off. Mm -hmm. um, get that lead and, and keep it. Prediction, please, Timothy. I think they'll win 1-0. Do you? 2-1 mm -hmm. for me. Uh, myself and Tim. Uh, you might not be able to see us again. There you go. We shall be at St James's Park on Sunday, 4 o'clock kickoff. For all the build up on this one, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com. <laughs> 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 <laughs>